Is your content brand worthy? If you can put that cash app in that bio, you can definitely put your email in that bio. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost, but today, we're here to talk about if it's still worth trying to become an influencer in 2024, and in the long and short of it, it absolutely is. As you guys can see here, I do not have that many followers. Even here on YouTube, I'm still under 5,000 subscribers and I have done tons of paid collaborations and I've been gifted by quite a few brands and attended brand events. What's most important? Being able to build community that turns into conversion and then also being able to create quality content. That's not to say that big name influencers will be out the window. However, smaller creators do tend to foster a deeper sense of community and it's not just always a cash grab. If you guys are interested in hearing my tips on how I'm able to connect with brands and all that good stuff, keep watching. First things first, I need you guys to optimize your social media. Who are you? What do you do? Where are you located? And how can brands get in contact with you? The reason why I think it's so important now is because if brands are having events, they know exactly where certain creators are located, especially if you are a small creator and it's not gonna cost them to fly you out, not saying that they won't, but if you have that you are located in a certain area and maybe you have a smaller niche, brands will typically invite you to their events because obviously the more people, the more content's being created at the event and the more awareness it brings to the brand. And last but not least, make sure you have your contact email. Don't make them have to work for it. If you have your contact email there and present, brands will reach out. I can't express to you how many times brands will say, oh, I found this email in your YouTube description box, or you know, we saw your email on your Instagram or on your TikTok, and we would love to work with you or send you some product. Put the email in the bio. You can put that cash app in that bio, you can definitely put your email in that bio for a chance to connect with these brands. Now with that being said, I need y'all to just bring it on in because this might be a little hard to hear and I promise you guys I'm going to hold your hand when I say this. Is your content brand worthy? I think that we have seen so many people blow up on these platforms and we feel like their job is just so easy and all you need to do is go viral and the deals and the money are going to roll in and unfortunately that's not how this works. In my intro, I stated that the importance of building community is why brands are seeking after smaller creators. I have a background in sales, and one thing that I've always stayed true to is understanding that if you can get a customer to like you, the customer will not only buy from you, but there's a certain level of trust. They will also refer or recommend you to someone else. Like that's just basic common knowledge when it comes to sales. If you are not producing quality content that a brand could use or post to their page, why would you think that a brand would want to give you their money, let alone will send you free product, but let alone pay you? I think that we have to be very realistic about that because being an influencer is not as easy as it looks. You have to get prepared, you have to make sure that you look presentable, know what you're talking about. Some people come on here and they just do it aimlessly and I love that for them. When you look at the type of brands that you want to work with, you need to look at whether or not your content, your niche, and essentially just where you're trying to take the direction of your platforms, does it align with these brands that you're trying to work with? If that answer is no, then you need to get influencer marketing apps. Personally, some of my favorites right now are Buzz Agent, Skeepers, Aspire, as well as Shopify brand collabs. Now, Shopify probably might be my least favorite out of the four that I'm currently like really diving into right now. Skeepers actually just dropped down their requirements because at one point you had to have at least a thousand subscribers on YouTube, you had to have at least 5,000 views on your last three videos. Like it was just the most off the wall type of thing. But 
from a business standpoint, I also understand why the requirements were what they were. Because again, that goes back to what I'm saying. If you do not align with the brands, if you're not serious about this, you can't expect brands to want to spend money on working with you. So now that they've lowered the requirements, I believe it's just a thousand followers on Instagram, thousand followers on TikTok, and 500 subscribers on YouTube. So if you guys are looking to receive gifted PR, and apparently there are paid opportunities on speakers as well, I've personally never seen any, but if you guys would like to start receiving PR or just working with brands and getting used to what it's like to, to actually deliver the content in a certain time frame, Skeepers is a really great starter app as long as you have those minimum requirement of followers. When you sign up for those platforms, and I'm going to have them all linked down below in the description box, I'm going to link all of the websites below that I use for influencer marketing app. You, once you guys do that, and you start selecting products and you're getting accepted for these campaigns, if you struggle with creativity or just needing an idea of how to shoot certain things, I highly, 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 highly recommend downloading Pinterest and looking up different creative shoots surrounding certain products so that way you can create a storyboard and then be able to create your content. You also want to use ChatGPT to help you create a script talking about the product, giving key talking points um, for hashtags, anything like that. Anything that you can do to help optimize your content, you want to use those platforms. On Skeepers and on Shopify Collabs, they do typically want you to express why you want to work with the brand and why they should work with you. You can also use ChatGPT for that to help you structure an email talking about why you should work with the brand. And obviously you want to list all of your qualities, the type of content that you have. Chat GBT will know how to spice it up for you if you're at a loss of words because I know sometimes I'll be at a loss of words and I just throw what I think I want to say into Chat GPT and I allow Chat GPT to formulate that email or that DM pitch for me. Specifically for YouTube, I want to focus on this because obviously this is the platform that you guys are watching me on. If you do not have TubeBuddy, I suggest getting it. There is a free version and there is a paid version. I've had the paid version and then it expired and I was using vidIQ, so I, I don't know, just listen. I'm trying to cut my costs. The person who put me onto vidIQ is none other than the Aaliyah's face. This was back when she was doing her day in the life of an influencer content. vidIQ will teach you how to formulate the titles for your video based upon what's being searched right now by current users. I believe the last time that I was using vidIQ, I want to say it was $50 a month. As far as working smarter and not harder, I'm only willing to pay for subscriptions and invest my money on platforms that I know I'm serious about and when I'm no longer serious about them or I see that I'm not using them then I will cancel them but vidIQ is an amazing tool if you guys want to start being able to get your videos pushed out also with that if your thumbnail is not fire nobody's gonna click on your video it doesn't matter how much information you have if the thumbnail sucks nobody wants to watch you sis how many of y'all clicked on this video because of the thumbnail don't worry, I'll wait. How many times have you guys clicked on a video or maybe a TikTok grabbed you because they had a really amazing hook and as for YouTube, the thumbnail was so good. Maybe you're three to five minutes into the video and you realize they're not even giving me anything of value. That's the importance of a strong hook and that's the importance of a great thumbnail. You want to get people attention so that they will actually click on the content and then it's even better and just icing on the cake if you're actually giving them something of value. People buy from and pay attention to people that they like. And when they do like you, they will refer you to other people. You saw how I just plugged Aaliyah's face in her day in the life of an influencer series because I got value from that. Are you bringing value to the platform? The last thing that you guys are going to want to do is to create a portfolio on Canva. There are tons of options on the free version of Canva to create a portfolio. And this is important simply because if you're going to be reaching out to brands or brands just want to see more examples of work that you've done, you can literally house 
that body of work on a portfolio and simply just send them a link. At the end of the day, where community is cultivated is where coins are going to be collected. So if you want these brands to start taking you serious, gifting you, and even more so paying you for your work, you guys need to follow those steps. Understand that this is a journey. So for some people, it may look like it happened overnight. For some people, it actually does happen overnight, but I just don't want you guys to get discouraged by what you all are seeing other people being able to achieve and thinking that there's not room for you. Show up, take up space, be unapologetic, and don't care about what people think about you posting. I'm 32 years old and I'm a content creator and I don't care what anybody has to say about me sitting in front of this camera and doing because I know the money that's in it, I know the community that comes with it, and I genuinely love to do this content creation. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you all found something of value in this video. Again, if you have any questions that you would like me to elaborate on, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will absolutely make sure that I get back to you guys and create another video and maybe we can turn this into a series. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and got something of substance from it. If you all have any more questions as it pertains to content creation and I'm able to answer them, I will go ahead and start collecting those questions and create another video. Maybe we can turn it into a series. And while I'm here, shameless plug again, follow my TikTok. I do go live pretty much every day on there. So if you guys are not seeing me upload on YouTube, you can definitely catch me over on TikTok. I do give a lot of tips about new influencers apps that I am discovering and testing out and giving that information to my audience so don't forget to follow me on TikTok don't forget to follow me on Instagram both my business Instagram and you guys know I restarted the fashion sista because I gave that Instagram to my business Instagram when we started from fresh we started from scratch with the fashion sista new Instagram so that is it Thank you guys so much. I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check the description box for all the websites and the things that I talked about down below. You should be reading it anyways, but I love y'all. Bye.